I heard about this place on Facebook, Nico's Chicken. You know, I've been seeing it a lot here and there lately. I've been seeing it on Instagram also, so you know, why not give it a try? And I'm Chris. And we, we are, are in Miko's, Miko's Hot Chicken. Chicken. When the rain doesn't stop you from getting Miko's. Look at that. Hey. I'm a registered nurse. And I'm a college teacher. And I never in a million years would have thought that I would be a restaurateur. I was just coming to see how the food was. We knew Houston didn't have a place that sold only Nashville Hot Chicken, and we knew it would be a, a big hit. <laughs> It's very simple, three menu items. We got, of course, the famous chicken sandwich, the loaded fries, and our tender basket. Simple. I come every week. A lot of people there asking us, why do y'all put that chicken? It's addictive. <laughs> like, I come up here like multiple times a week. It's a regular southern fried chicken. It's double dips. It, is, it has egg wash, seasoned flour mix. Then we toss it in our hot seasoning. It's an oil base. The oil actually infuses the spicy peppers we have in our sauce as well. And we have four different spice levels. We got mild, medium, hot, and extra hot. And in our mild, we just add a little bit of cayenne. Then we go to the hot, and the hot one, we're adding some ghost pepper. And in the extra hot, we add Carolina Reaper and Which tuna that scorpion. And that's the hottest pepper in the world. Yeah. Wait, your eyes are in water? I mean, it's hot. <laughs> people even want it hotter. You know, there are people who have yeah. built up a tolerance so they can welcome a, a hotter I mean, level. You, you can too. I can too, actually. Yeah. So that may come uh, come in the in the picture down the line, another heat level. Oh, level mild. Perfect. In the beginning, uh, Miko and I we discussed what we should have on our menu when we first opened the food trailer. And it's a very, very tight, small space. We had eight menu items. <laughs> yeah, I wanted everything. I wanted waffles on there. Wings. And wings. And, and I just came home and I was like, no. I, I just, that was just too much. Me whisking the egg whites and the egg, I, that was just way too much. Yeah. So I came back to him and said, we gotta, we gotta scale it down. And it's actually the food trailer, this tight space that allowed us to think, so what can we get out of the window? fastest and most efficient and most consistent. Long line today. Mm -hmm. And since we were so busy anyway, we decided, well, let's just stick to what we're good at and just see if we can increase the volume of what we are selling yeah. because the demand is out there anyway. In January 2020, we opened up a food truck and we parked it here. Going from a food truck to a brick and mortar, that was already in play because we were forced to because we were having crazy demand, crazy lines at the food truck. And so we thought getting into a brick and mortar, you know, would kind of slow that down. We still can't meet the demand. Woo! Look at that, y'all. We think there is a, a, a bright feature for Miko's Hot Chicken. Our goal is to become America's Hot Chicken. So we want to uh, expand in Texas and then across the country.